Happy Sunday. Happy Sunday. I am Stacey A. Cross. There's no E in my name. I got a fresh new journal. I want to talk about this. Uh, it's coming up on a new year. So what are we doing to get all the things from out of here and into here? And I love how it smells. A little bit on lean thinking, if you know, but I'm just I'm just cracking this book open. So there's not a lot I could share with you about it, but I do know um, this is the way to go. Lean Six Sigma Six, okay? It's Lean Six Sigma. Well, I remember I did this uh, podcast, right? And this guy was like, I'm a Six Sigma black belt, right? You remember that? <laughs> and then, uh, I was like, what are you, what are you talking, karate? He's like, you know you don't know shit. You don't know what, no, you don't, you know you don't know shit when you don't know the difference between Lean Six Sigma black belt and an actual karate black belt. Come on, yo. So it's all right, though, because we, um, as soon as I didn't know, this is what I do. As soon as you don't know something, it's not, just stop, just stop, like, bathing yourself in, in shit you don't know and go, no. Like, that's it. It just took this, and you know what? Actually, I didn't just get this. I got this as well. Because I'm like, whoa, I really don't know shit, okay? So I got to know before I can talk about it, and that's what's been happening um, with the Comfort Killers Colloquium, and I want to talk about that. Just give me two seconds, and we're going to get into some timeless wisdom for you, because I want to help you out, man. We're going into a new year, and you got to stand clear of all the noise, and I want to help Comfort Killers out here, because, I mean, man, we put so much, like, I love my Comfort Killers, because they're so, like, action-oriented, and and just putting work in, and, and, and committing, and figuring it out, and this and that. I mean, you guys are really going hard. You know, when, when somebody said, man, you going hard, that, like, that's a compliment to Comfort Killers, like, man, yeah, I feel good, man, look at all the action that I'm doing, and um, I just want to talk about the Comfort Killers Colloquium for a little bit, because what I did is, you know, I don't know if you read the press release, but, you know, we acquired Thelonious C. Jones, uh, the brand, UDI Group, all the online um, stuff in that realm, which is courses, real estate, webinars, articles, videos, and of course, merging and partnering with Thelonious C. Jones. Now, he's a part of the Comfort Killers officially. What that does is broaden like our asset base, you know, like really like we, we had this one product and now we got all these other products like almost instantly. And um, one thing that we're finding is that the, the industry is oversaturated. It's not even just saturated. It's like if you have gone to like the industry doctors, they'll be like, um, stop eating saturation from the industry. Get out of there. It's so bad. And one of the reasons it's so bad because it's become, it's become accessible to so many different peoples with the help of the internet, which is, it's, a, it's always a double-edged sword. You know, it's always a good thing. It's always a bad thing at the same time, but it's how you perceive it. And coming from your point of view, what are you going to do with the information? But I really think that because information is coming at such a faster pace and you could actually uh, pull it up with a speed of light and energy, you tend to look in the wrong places for information or consume yourself with information that doesn't hold any value to you. So there's a lot of formulas. There's a lot of steps. There's a lot of guides. There's, you know, I can't even watch YouTube and maybe you're watching this on YouTube, but I can't even log on YouTube. I get, I get the ads. I know that the ads have to be there. Salute to YouTube for figuring out that you got to put ads on your platform, make the damn people do it. And that's it. You, you golden, right? So shout out to YouTube, but here's the deal. Hey, you know, do you want to make money in a weekend? Um, watch how I made $3,000 on Amazon selling quirky stuff like this hat, you know? Want to know how you can sell quirky stuff for your hat? Hey, you want to build a Wix site? Like, I get it. So everyone has this, this, this information now, and it's bombarded. And really, it's all surface information, right? Some of it's surface, and then others, you get the courses, and you go into these things, and you have to keep digging deeper, and you'll find it. And one day, Manny, one day, Johnny... One day, Stacy, you'll get to be like us. What I'm saying is that let's talk about business, right? Let's bring let's bring it back to business. Let's bring it back to uh, Blackstone. Let's bring it back to Berkshire. Let's bring it back to um, corporations. Let's bring it back. Let, 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 let's let's kind of get businessy right now. Like, okay, um, 
do you even file taxes in your business? Okay. You know, do you have an LLC formation? Do you have a S corp, C corp? Do you, what do you have? Okay. So a lot of people don't like, they're running these things. They're running these like jokes of a business and they're doing it because you know, their favorite guru is saying, this is the way how to, but yet everyone else has, a, has a structure. Everyone else has a plan. Everyone knows what they're doing. Everyone else has gotten employees, but you're stuck. You're stuck like Chuck saying, what the f I am Stacey A. Cross. There's no in my name, man. The comfort killer's here, and I'm so happy that you're a comfort killer. It just means that you want more, man. You want more out of life. You're, you're, you're never satisfied. Um, you know, you got some unsettling things in your gut. Like, you wake up and, and you push yourself. So that's dope, man. And ath athletes, um, music, creative space, videographer, um, whatever content, Whatever thing you want to put out, t-shirt brands, you know, real estate, realtors, like, honestly, uh, the comfort killer is the embodiment of action. So the comfort killer's colloquium is about bringing that action on a collaborative space, on a collaborative level, on a connectivity and creating meaningful relationships. We're talking about how to go into different spaces because you shouldn't be there. Not to do it. Let's not talk about the same things over and over. Yeah, this is how you make a con piece of content. Put it up on this, put it up on that. Listen, at the end of the day, we all know that everybody and every one of the ones that are saying that, they have the employees, man. And you don't have the employees. So you can't operate that at that level. You could perceive to be operating at that level. But the first thing that you need is to think differently and think bigger, man. Think bigger than that. Think bigger than that. How do we get an employee? How do we hire out? So I want to give you some timeless wisdom today and take it how you want it. Take it. Just just take it, man. I'm just giving it to you. So um, it's about, you know, going into 2019. One thing that I, I got to tighten up and I, and I noticed it towards the end of the year, but I got to tighten it up. And, you know, I left my nine to five job and I left that saying, man, I need more. I need all my time to be in the comfort killers. And I realized, man, I haven't put a lot of time, like structured time into the comfort killers. Like, you know, I'm, I'm just I got my real estate license, or pulling real estate. So that I'm letting, getting dragged all over the place. And the structure of my time has to be better managed. And I know that. So I said, OK, there's a lot of people out there that want my time. Okay, my family, my friends, um, you know, business deal, realtor, real other realtors, the the, the office, um, you know, my girlfriend, um, clients, customers, comfort killers, social media. It's it's you're getting pulled in a million different places. And the fact is that you need to understand what is the purpose. So let's go down about. I think let's see. I think there's one, two, three, four, five. Damn, six things, things, things to help you protect your time. And now and in 2019. All right. So we need to, we need to, we need to know that what we're doing is not wasting our time. So the main point of it is, I know a lot of you read a lot of different books. You watch a lot of videos, you know, and sometimes it's just, you're watching a lot of interviews and you're just trying to get the the motivation and the inspiration to do something. You're listening to podcasts. So a lot of the things that I started to do to get into the game and to change my entire being was, you know, the podcast, you know, getting up early, doing all of that. And it, it gets to where it becomes second nature. But how do you take yourself from this, that level of just self-improvement um, to actually the next level in life, man? It gets to a point where, and I love Dame Dash when he said this, it's like the cool kids are asking the squares what sh they should do. Like, you know what to do. You know, we've never been a yes men, yes women, okay? We've always been making sure that we're protecting our time and our energy. And I don't, I don't want you to get blood sucked dry out there. So here's the first thing you have to do. If you want to do it, if you don't, great. Voicemail, Okay. And, you know, there, at one point I had my voicemail set up. So it said, hey, listen, I missed your call. Please leave me a message after the tone. I only check this voicemail twice a week. So if you need to speak to me before then, you know how to reach me if this is an emergency. Or send an email to blah, 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 blah at thecomfortkillers.com or whatever it is. So right then and there, I set up a, a, a voice. Like, I send people to voicemail. I send it to voicemail. Like, there's this is my phone. This is my property. Um, this is my time, and I and I got really serious about it. Sec number two, number two, prioritizing. 
you know. So knowing what you're going to do all week, I got this um, this journal. You know, I, I really like the self-journal. Shout out to the self-journal. And shout out to the Comfort Killers journal. And I'll show you that. This is the Comfort Killers Journal. You could get that um, on thecomfortkillers.com. But you know what it is? It's so small. Like I gotta make, I gotta make the brand another Comfort Killers Journal, but big. And one thing I don't really want is a calendar. Like I understand the calendar concept, but I didn't want to write have the dates written for me. Like I want to go in there, put the date. Sometimes I use up a half a sheet. And I just want to start in the middle of the sheet or the next day, next date, you know. So um, I love the big one. So a part of prioritizing is know what you're going to get into. It's Sunday today. Knowing how your week is going to be panned out. Another good thing is a whiteboard. If you don't have a whiteboard, get a whiteboard. They have little ones too where you just poke it poke, poke on your wall. I have a bigger one over there. And I used to have it where it's static information on it. Like this is my funnel. This is that. And I keep it up there forever. And I'm like, no, nah, that, that needs to be a dynamic tool, right? A dynamic tool every day. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? On, uh, what are you going to do today? What are you going to do on Friday? Do you know what you're going to be up to Friday at 3 p.m.? How far in advance do you want to go with your time, okay? So make sure that that's done. Number three is being up front fast. Be up front and then be fast about it, okay? Don't, don't be slow about it. Hey, this one bit me in my ass. So it's, it's you know, saying it comes back from saying yes and um, wanting to be a part of it, like really wanted to um, spread out there and network and be a part of this and that. But, you know, you know, oh, actually, this one is not that. This is not saying no. What I meant would be up front fast is, you know, have you ever had to do business or speak to people that talks entirely too much? This is this happens a lot. Right. Or you just don't want to be there. You ever had to be somewhere, but you really don't want to be there? Like maybe it's a it's a coworker or whatever. You guys got to go over a project, and you really don't you don't really par with these people, man. You just think on a different level. You really don't want to hear the bullshit, the the, the, the stories, the fillers that like I call them. Um, they, they speak entirely too much, you know. They stay on the phone. For, I have this one client, and. Instead of just getting right to the point, it's like, man, brings me around the thing, tells me what the what the color of the door, what the rug is going to look like. It's like, I, I can't. I can't. Okay? I can't. So, how do you be upfront fast? The first thing you have to do is tell the other person how much time you have allotted for this conversation, for them, for this meeting, for this phone call, you know what I mean? For this project. You have to send that uh, standard. You have to get that out there quick, all right? Because they will waste your time. And this is all about time saving, man. We got to go into 2019 a little stricter with ourselves and, and our energy and, uh, and the people around us. Just a, just a little bit, man. Um, so, yeah, be up front fast. Hey, listen. Hey, hey, hey. I got two minutes for this call. I just wanted to find out a me. I just need my information. You need your information. There's no need to lollygog. Everybody want to lollygog. The next thing is, is social media. Number four, you know, all the gurus, okay? All the gurus. And I even said this at one time. I'm not your guru. And I, no, no shit. But, um, yo, eight hours a day. Yo, be on it. Be on it. 17 posts. Um, you know, put this here. Put that there. Be on all the networks. And this, that's that's bullshit. That's like, let's keep let's keep them busy doing nothing for hours on a upon a time, so they're really not planning and executing their real fucking goals. Okay, let's 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 get that out of the way right now. It's bullshit. Updating, curating, retweeting. It's like. Who are you doing this for? Are you doing it for the gram? Are you doing it for, like, if you don't see the outcome immediately um, where you could put something out and understand the purpose for it, and then either you're getting the lead from it, either you're getting, um, people say, oh, awareness and attention, but atten <laughs> okay, so either you're getting the lead, you're getting the money, you're, getting, you're selling something, okay, I understand that. 
Some people's business is entirely online. I get that. It's like, I don't watch the news, but I'm not mad at the news anchor lady that that's her job. She has to do that. So she's into the news. Like, that's fine. So if you're making money from it, if there's a fucking goal and there's a purpose behind it, go ahead and do it. But it's not okay. It is not okay to be on there eight hours trying to do the e-myth the the e-myth thing, okay, where you're you're like everything. You're the promoter, you're the uh, researcher, you're the the CEO, you're the marketer, you're the salesperson. I get it. When you start a business, you have to hustle bustle. I get it. But understand that you may need to outsource, you may need some employees. So how do you get that? Think how the big boys are thinking, okay? Um, if you can't, you know, you're putting all together this these products and projects. I get it. It looks good, but Remember, the person that's telling you to do that, they got employees. That's straight up. That's just what it is. Okay, uh, purpose number five. I mentioned that, but everything you do should have some purpose behind it. So ask yourself, what is the purpose for this activity? No purpose. Get it out of here. That's just that's just key. And here's the big one. Number six, say no. This is what I was talking about before when I got it all messed up. We're not yes men. All right, you are not yes women. There's always somebody that wants you to tag along. First, get rid of the tag alongers, okay? I ain't tag along on your shit. Don't tag along on my shit. Like, I don't need to be around a crowd of people to gain confidence. It's not who I am. I could go somewhere myself. I could have dinner myself. I don't I don't need just tag alongers because I feel scared or whatever. Like, I need my friend to go with me. No, bump that. Um... So I say no. I don't, I'm not no one's tag along, and you shouldn't be either. And try to get what the purpose is. Remember, we go back to purpose, but you know, I've had um, someone. She's always inviting me to different places, and the first place I got got. Okay, um, turns out it was something I didn't really want to do. Didn't really want to be there. It was way out of. It was like 40 minutes away. I didn't want to drive up there, drive back. It's heavy traffic. But I said yeah. And I went and, um, and I saw it and then I ended up like, damn, like I got to drive back. I got to fucking cut this shit short. I got to go. I got to get out of here. So the second time I was invited by the same person, I put it out there like, okay, tell me what this is about. Tell me who's going to be there. Tell me what it is. Tell me, you know, I don't want to get into a situation where I don't know. Like, again, no tag along or I'm not going to be your guest. I'm not going to be a fucking dummy. Okay. So that's that's what it is so some not network marketing events or some networking events it could be um it could be uh like a veil over really what 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 needs to go down so anyway i want you to protect your time i want you to jump on the comfort killers colloquium it's not no more about the alliances the what do you call them the line, the academies. Let me see what I said. I want to see what I said about it. I want to see what I said about CKC. I said here. Oh, here. Coaching groups, inner circles, coaching calls, masterminds, where you have to lower yourself and submit before joining. What I mean by that is that most of all of these things, and there's one key person. And then you're trying to learn as much as he or she, right? So you will never be the master. That's what it is. Like the, all those things, you can never be the master because it's always like I'm on top of the mountain looking down at you. We want to build, we want to get back to business like this. <laughs> we're not fucking playing around this year. And we're not playing the same game that all these companies want to play because they want to be cool or internet cool or some shit. Like we're done with that. We're out of that. So this is the book we're reading for CKC this month. If you've read it, great. I would love to get you on CKC so you can uh, dissect this book with us. And um, this is Trammel Crow, Master Builder. And I want to see you at CKC. So please check the link out, read read about us, and uh, join, and join. be a member of, be a specialist in. I am Stacey A. Cross, in my name. If this video helped you out, I'm sure it's going to help one of your friends out. Send it over to a friend. I'll give it to a relative, I'll put it in an email, give them the link, share the link, retweet it in your, your, your page, um, upload it in the other thing, and uh, make make sure that, that someone sees it, someone sees it that, that's outside of you. Like it if you like it, subscribe if you subscribe. I am Stacey A. Cross, and there ain't no E in it. Peace.